to my channel. Today is going to be a bit different than my typical videos because my mom will be joining us. Um, say hello, mom. Hello. You can, can tell them my name. Oh, my mom's name is Deanne. <laughs> it will just be a minute. And today, today we're going to talk about... Today is the beginning and today is going to be um, early on, which is a program that you do before school, that you or before you enter school. And then my um, elementary years mm -hmm. will be the first and early, video. Early on is what Michigan terms. Yes. It's a Michigan. Sorry for your attention. <laughs> so we're going to cover early on and um, elementary school today. Yeah, and that's, this is the first video of well, many. Uh, but they, and, um, then, and then they do their own testing. Yeah, cognitively. They, they do their own testing, which I'll be honest with you, as a parent, I felt like a big idiot because they were asking me questions. Yeah. Um, that you did that, not like, know. Did you, do you have your child kick the ball? And I'm like, no, they were, it was winter time. It wasn't really able for them to kick the ball. Kick or, the ball. Yeah, that was one of the questions. And, you know, What's like, the what kick did the I ball? do? Like, it was physical activity. Like, some of the, uh, there were all kinds of things. Okay. There were, there were, you know. I thought it was going to be more there was, cognitive. Like, movement, there was cognitive questions. There was movement questions. Obviously, so winter time actually, doesn't affect cognitive or like things to do in the winter, yeah. talking wise and cognitive, but it does affect things to do. Um, the winter affects things like, you know, physically doing yeah. things. So that was about the only time. The rest of the time they were, um, uh, and those are standard questions. It wasn't like they, you know, the, the state, they're done at the state level, not at the, the teachers and the instructors at that time. Um, but they were they were a great resource for me because I, I didn't know what to what do. to do with I mean because I could talk and well at this time I you couldn't talk. You weren't really talk. talking, yeah. Well, I could. You were only ten months. No, you know, but they were evaluating you. You were about a yeah, year. Yeah, that's what I'm You were saying. about a year, and you're a summer birthday, so oh, they yeah. hadn't started up the program. Because I was yet. in the fall. Because it's it happens. It goes with the school well, year. School mm -hmm. system, yeah. It goes with the school year. Um, but it did turn out to be a great program. Um, it, it offers, you have a teacher, you have a physical therapist, you have an occupational therapist, you have a speech therapist, and there's, in addition yeah. to all that, there's aids. And um, they were, Say that they were not, um, all, and they have different techniques they expose you. Yeah. Another thing, I don't know if this will help any of you parents or not, um, but I remember when I was going through it, um, and I've described this later to people, it's like you're. Okay, I was hoping. It's you like would you're say drowning. That. You like this one? I was hoping you would say like something like. Yeah. Because I remember you telling me like. And this goes on, I think. Most, most of my life. Most of the time. Most of my life, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, because there's because there's people talking to you and explaining things to you, and this is all new to you, and you're also surviving. You've got also got other children you're trying to raise and do things with. But and you also them is all all of them as normal of a childhood as there possible. There we go. That's what I was gonna say. You want to treat them as normal as. Yeah, yeah. Can, you were treated normal, or you, you know, to the degree that. Yeah, you know, I could possibly yeah, turn we made fun of you and teach you just like we did the other two. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. but the great the thing is, you're like the whole time you're like it's like you're drowning, and when you get this information, and, you're and, and throughout as they give you the information, and it, as you drown, you're popping up. So there, so while you're under the water, you don't, you can't hear what they're saying, um, or you can't maybe you hear them talking, but you don't like it doesn't process. And then, then you pop up and you hear bits and pieces, and those bits and pieces process, but you still haven't processed the whole entire thing. And for me, that is, I guess, the best analogy of how I can yeah. explain how, why you, so there's pieces of it you get, there's pieces of it you don't get, and, um, and you're just trying to, you're just trying to survive is really, for, for me, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. I was trying to survive. Um, I can't speak for your dad. Um, but in other think, parents, but for me, that was the role I felt. I think it was, I can't speak for dad, but it's how am I going to provide for dad? He's such a provi um, provider. Is yeah. His yeah. So yeah. like, he's like, how am I going to provide all this medical equipment? Yeah. That's the other thing. That Cause my shocking. medical, my medical equipment is like thousands. Yeah. Of dollars. Yeah. I just want people to know, like... And insurance doesn't cover Pay it. for it. 
Um, <laughs> like my realtor to give you like my first um, motorized realtor it was well, motorized realtor. Uh, like uh, motorized realtor. Thirty thousand dollars. Twenty. Twenty. Uh, 20, 20, low 20s, low 20s. Twenty thousand dollars. Um, walkers are like four. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just saying. It depends uh, on what kind of walker. There's so many different uh, walkers. Yeah. It depends on what kind of walker and what kind of uh, support you need for your, your walker. But I'm just saying, medical equipment is expensive, and I don't, I don't think, and you can speak on that. Like, I don't think parents of younger children realize. Yeah, you don't know. Diagnosed. You don't know it till you're in it. Yeah. You don't know it till you're in it, and then, and then that's you're what getting, I was trying to figure. Yeah, like, and then you're battling with the insurance companies. And, yeah. And finding out they're not going to pay for it, they just don't care yeah or they want you to they tell you to check out easter seals and uh, and all those and i, I didn't have much luck with that stuff. i used to do as a young child one, one time your first the first lift in the car was i think east the easter one that seals like in our yukon yeah i think so you weren't allowed you couldn't ride in it yeah i couldn't ride in because i wouldn't it. ride in my because other my other wheelchair but it was fine. But we got we got off topic. Back of the to the back to the schools. <laughs> so, Sorry, so, this is our life. <laughs> we get off topic, so feel free to ask us questions. By the way, if oh yeah, answer. please leave comments. Or um, if you're not comfortable with that, I also have a website where yeah. you can you can contact me, and I will be more than happy to answer any and all questions. Yeah. So there's really nothing I. Yeah, we're open. Typically high. But that was the nice thing about early oh. on is they, they, exposed. they exposed me to doctors and um, <laughs> therapists and, and equipment that I did huh. not know existed. I did not know how to go about getting. Yeah. I didn't even know that Anna needed. And luckily they were good about telling me that it was that she needed it and they would and they would actually they were a part of it the whole time, like your braces, your orthotics. They, yeah, they can't. They would I, bring the I, people into I do, the school. I do remember for my first one. Mm -hmm. My first one coming into the. Um, yeah, they came to early coming on. Coming into early on and saying, okay. And fitting you there. Yeah. 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 So, um, so they, those are, you know, it was a wonderful program. Can you and I highly, you know, encourage people to seek it out. And to, uh, because the, the value of the knowledge that I got was, and the people, I, I just can't say enough nice things about the, the support people. you got. Yeah, the support and the, uh, the staff members, all of them. Um, Mrs. Hall. They were so, so fabulous and so, um, so kind. They were just really a blessing from God. All of you were. So if any of you are watching, thank you. It was an amazing uh, time for us as far as you were a gift to us. So thank you. Um, um, another thing they did. Straws. Sorry, were you going to say it? Straws. That was a, I was going <laughs> to Straws. That was kind of a cool thing. I, I never thought you to up. have you do straws. Because. Using straws like to drink, with, by the way. Yeah, straws. <laughs> straws for me are my life. Not my life, but like. Well, we still you still help, use them to this day. They help me like consume. <laughs> what drink? Yeah. And drink stuff. Yeah. Some. You like it because you're afraid. They, they give me confidence that I rather doing it the other way. I am too afraid to spell things on myself. Well, I, could, I was gonna say correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking. They give you, you feel like you're in control with a straw, whereas with a cup, you feel like it's going to spill I'm and you don't have control. Yeah, just, I'm very... Just, uh, I could be wrong, but that's how uh, I describe it. It's stability. Okay. Stability, I do not have when it's, when I'm up like that. Oh, okay. It's the, with straws, I have stability, I have the... You can stop sucking on it if you don't want any more liquid. Yeah, and it, it falls down, down your yeah. Throat, that, you can't. Yeah. You can't. Is that the right word, stability? I guess so. Or control? Yeah, I'm mm. not sure. That's a fine it's, line. It's, it's a fine line. It's interchangeable. <laughs> line. It's a fine line. Book, but the anyway. only thing that was fun that they did at the early on was teach you some sign language. Oh, to get, That got us by. Because we didn't know at the time if you were I ever could, going to talk. That I was, could not talk at the time. Believe that or not, we didn't know she was oh. ever going to talk. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Little did we Hello. Know. <laughs> I have my own here too, you know that. Um, but we didn't know, so they taught you some sign language and that was to nice get us to by. get us by. 
And then um, they also taught you... Until you start talking. It turned out until you start talking. We yeah. didn't know if it was always going to be. And it was all... Uh, uh, could be. My mom wanted us kids to go to the same school. Yes, because her, Cause her we were, older sister yeah, sorry. was in school and we were moving. We were having yeah, we this were house moving built, built so that you'd be able to get around it in a wheelchair. Yeah, in a wheelchair. So we were moving no matter what. Um, and we had this. This was in progress. Yeah. But my mom just wanted us to all be in the same school so she wouldn't have to do extra driving. Right. Right, and so the house. Well, I just wanted you all. I just felt consistency was important for all of you and me. Yeah. For all of us. So. And I was still in therapy. Yeah, yeah. We going were going through this. We were going. Um, school Schools provide therapy, but it's. Therapy. But it's such a short amount of time. And um, the SDR. so we, we had to seek outside therapy as well. And uh, and the surgeries, your re surgeries required um, therapies, therapy, like an extensive therapy. Because it was um, all about nerves schedule. and stuff like that. So, um, so we'll go in so more detail was, about my surgeries. Yeah, another time. Another time. Yeah, but you're, you're, um, so, so, um, <sighs> Luckily, the principals acted fast because I unfortunately didn't think of this till last minute. And they, uh, the, of the two you. particular schools, one was the school of our old house, and they were both in Heartland School District. Um, and then the other, in this one, uh, the one that we ended up going to, the both principals talked with each other and figured it out. That, and yeah. I don't know who they found out. I don't even, I don't remember if I answered questions or not because. Um, the cognitively impaired kids went to a different school yeah. and um, even though you were talking um, you were it actually was... yelling and kind of bossy <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so we knew you weren't cognitively impaired because you were kind of normal with that like bossiness and stuff yeah. like that. but I, like I said I don't remember who if um, they contacted early on or not but anyways, she ended up going to where we were moving to. They all went to, or that's the elementary school they were yeah. going to. So it turned out... Um, Village turned Elementary. Out Village Elementary, and we were... Very I mean, lucky. Miss, Miss, the principal was Bill Kane, and the entire staff, and I can't, if I list everybody's name, we'd be here forever. <sighs> yeah, it was the entire staff. I mean, from the janitor... I we had a couple janitors. I mean, two it was bus just aides, to two. the bus aides. Yes, the bus aides, the bus drivers, two, to two of the bus, the, I mean, the teachers, every single teacher, whether she had the teacher or not, they all knew who you were. And were that just, was very important to Mr. Cade. Yeah, that was in the. the it was sorry, a, I'm we like were blessed. We out were, of breath. We were truly blessed to to get to go to Village so Elementary. Thank you I have for, to say, I probably yeah. wouldn't be. I don't think you'd be the here. Or the person, yeah, I, I think so. come because of without yeah. them. I agree. I agree. So thank you and bless you, <laughs> bless all of you. Um, so we did the, the, you know, they were really neat. What was neat about them is they saw Anna's potential. Um, they they challenged you always. Uh -huh. They were always challenging her, trying to get her to do the best, next best thing. Yeah, like, and at the on. time, Anna wasn't. It was just me in the IEPs. This is the individualized yeah. so, education plan. Yeah. That's where I meet with the principal yeah. and the teachers. Uh, um, they were always challenging her. I was afraid they made a big deal the first time you wrote your name. Mm -hmm. They made such a big deal about it. Yeah, the the thing that I remember telling. Um, you know, the hard part, the hard part is a parent. I did tell Mr. Kane because he was, they were, um, talking, challenging. It was one of your IEPs and they were saying, you know, you know, they were, you know, doing or wanting from Anna or giving her challenges that I didn't think she'd be capable of. Oh, yes. And then she ended up being capable of them and, and, and doing it. So I just remember telling uh, Mr. Kane and the teachers how I, you know, I said, as a parent, you're, you're, you want to set your child up so not for, for failure you want them to do the best they can but you're you're afraid to set them up for failure so you don't push it as much as maybe you should so or it was at really least nice you to didn't. have the school you system did not. yeah it was nice to have the school system um yeah. push you in directions that i didn't and you know think mr to. kane would say that's the mr kane said to you what that remember. is the fine line that we Oh, I thought I said that. No, but. you said that. That oh. is the fine line. Or he said that is the fine line we cross. 
we walk as, as educators. Could be. Yeah. yeah. Could well, see, you remember better than me. Because you told me the story before. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then one of the things we wanted to talk about, or a couple of things, I, we didn't like the one thing in Heartland School is they like to switch around um, the pair of Oh, yeah. And we don't like so, that. Um, the reason we don't like that is, well, one, you, you like. I, I click with who I click with. And, and they get to know you, and they get to know how to get you out of your mm. moods. You know, I, Mrs. Park was really good at when you were in a funky I mood. I get in the funky mood. She knew how to get you out of that funky mood. You know, you have to admit. I do get a little fostered. <laughs> Is that a good way to... Uh, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I, you I get in a mood, and you're not very cooperative. I get in my moods of, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Or, like, I don't know how, like... Yeah. Or over, too overwhelming, whatever you want to call it. Call and they knew how to pull me out of it. Yeah, yeah, they were good at it. Um, Mary Bros. And that was the other reason I didn't like it was when you know when you have somebody who's taking you to the bathroom. That is to so. Me, that, especially as you get older and you're a girl. Um, to me, that, you mm, want to be comfortable with you, the person and know the person, and and that's not to say. They would go, these days were allowed to have days off and vacations and stuff like that. I don't mean that like yeah. that. But they were really good about always being consistent with um, giving her the a substitute. familiar substitute. So that when, you know, when they did go, she had somebody familiar. And also, for me, that was nice because I am in a vulnerable situation. Yeah. Especially yeah. when it comes to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. You're, I require somebody to wipe me. Yeah. To possibly change my pants. I was in the gen ed classroom. Yes, you were gen ed. So, slash special ed. So I would be going between. Yeah, you'd be in the gen ed for instruction and yeah. then the things that took you a little longer yeah. to do. Like math was always, math was a struggle for her. And, um, reading tests. Well, reading tests, they take you in a separate room and read yeah. it to you and then you'd give them the answer. But I'm saying like having somebody consistent in oh. the classroom with me as I yeah, do, because they as needed I do to, the classroom yeah. or doing my test was yeah. invaluable. Yeah, it was. it was. What's the word? Invaluable. Invaluable. invaluable you said. Okay, thank yeah. you. That's We're close. So, Whenever. And I did want to. Um, I think you also should speak on how you learned about. You know, you're looking back and you were not thrilled about some of the teachers oh, you got, okay. but you realize. Later on in life. You realize, yeah, later in life, they were, the schools did do the right thing by putting you with them. If I just didn't like the age or what? At the time, it seems, it was difficult much, for you. Yeah. You just didn't like the person because they were, they were asking more of you than you wanted to give. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? So they are. But part of it was because... They knew my potential, but I did not know my potential. Well, and because you just didn't like them, so you didn't want to give it. That's true. Yeah. You know, so. Um, so there has been a couple of teachers that I haven't really clicked with. I don't know how to. Yeah. Only that, yeah. only a couple out of all those. Years. Only two. I can. And think. then. And, the, and then know. later on, the one that I first and then didn't click with. I clicked with Pine in high school. Yeah, she ended up at but the high school, and she was and, uh, one of she my ended up being one a great one of my favorite teachers. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it funny how um, how that happened? Because I, for most of all, the teachers just were. I mean, they they really explained to me what I really am. Like things that like I thought she was doing so badly on. Like there was at first grade, I wanted to hold you back. Oh, and, on and, my math. Well, just everything. Because you were, they were, you were starting to slip behind. Yeah. And the teacher said, um, Mrs. Well, Morrison. Yeah, Mrs. Morrison. Bless, I still, you know, bless her heart. She was a great, another uh, great, another great life lesson for me as a parent. She said, you know, yeah, you can hold her back, but we don't know if she'll ever catch up. get there. And the thing that's really, um, really good about Anna is she, she is. She Social. is there socially. She's with these kids. So now you're going to put her with kids that are better than her. And that's maybe not going to work out so great either. She was like, how many? But most of all, what stuck with me, she said, how many times are you going to hold her back? You know, when do you, if she never learns to read, when are you going to say, okay, time to go on to the next grade? And have learned to, or yeah, you don't I never learn. learned, it's, learned it, it's been a struggle for me. Well, you're, it's just, a, not, your brain been, just doesn't, yeah. doesn't, you can't do it, so. 
Rainy uh, has been a struggle for me my whole entire life. Yeah. So thank you, Mrs. Morrison. I'm probably not. That's a good point. Because at what point do you call? When do you, what do you when say? You call, enough is enough, yeah. and we gotta move on. And and so she she was luckily very insightful, and luckily I I learned it, and uh, or I listened to her. I should say I listened. And to her. luckily, I had. So I'm um, going back to the AIDS. My principal, um, like override. Oh, he always made sure you had in elementary yeah. school. You were lucky, and yes, he did. I had the same aid every year. Yeah, because so that the, except from first year to second year, yeah. that wasn't because it's because in the Heartland school system, aids are done by um, union. It's unionized, and it's all based on so. your years of experience. So. Um, you don't have much of a, as a parent, you don't so, have any say. And even as, as a child, school, even as that aide didn't have, even, like your first year yeah. aide didn't want to go, she wanted to be your aide again. And she just, they, she wasn't allowed to because of the way, because she didn't have enough years and things got switched around. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it ended up being okay because we, we ended yeah, up getting so to see fun. her again in high school. And um, and we've kept in touch, and then and you got Mrs. Park, Park who was amazing and fabulous and, so, and a, a great lady. I just wanted to say that I got the same aid. Like, you did that makes and that was the principal's doing. Yeah. That was the principal's doing. That's so just that what I wanted to touch on. Yeah, no, that's a good point because I do think that helped you do well. Too. My success. Mm -hmm. I do. I think it helped. So. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye. Thanks for having me. I'll be back. Oh, yeah. Lucky you. You're welcome. <laughs>